What up guys, Kevin here. So I'm just waiting for Persona 3 Reload to go live. I figured to help pass time, I'm going to talk about quitting caffeine. It's been a year. I did it. Woohoo! It's actually been more than a year. Um, sorry, it's raining outside. I don't know if you guys hear it, but it's really loud in my ear. But you know what's not loud in my ear? The ringing headache from drinking caffeine because I don't drink it anymore. I'm not here to say I feel great. I'm not here to say I am better than you. Do I think that sometimes? I ain't going to lie. I see people at Starbucks all lined up and everything. And I'm like, suckers, man. Suckers. I hear people about their, I need to have my Dutch brothers. I'm just like, suckers. Suckers. And I get it. Like, low carb and monster energy drinks was my thing. Like, that was my happy place. That was, I wake up and I have one of those. And it makes me feel whole and right. But let's start off with why I quit those. Like, why would I give that up? Well, eventually, you drink so many of those things over the years. It's probably like at least 15 years of drinking at least one or two of those a day where it just doesn't work. And what am I going to turn to? Coffee? Coffee to me tastes like ass. I love the uh, McDonald's Frappuccinos, but that's just like coffee ice cream. That's just ice cream with coffee, right? Melted ice cream. Um, so I'm not going to go that route, and I'm not going to go with like sugary energy drinks. So the low-carb monster was my thing. It tasted so good just popping one of those in the morning after I woke up. Oh, man. Even talking about it right now, I actually don't feel anything. I don't have that urge, which... This is not the first time quitting caffeine. I quit caffeine before, but I would think about it and go, F it. Just, just give me one. Just give me one. I'll just have one. It won't hurt. Yeah, it will. But now more than a year later, just thinking about it, I still only think about the my innards dissolving. Like That stuff made my innards feel like it was dissolving uh, at a certain point. And... I was drinking it just to prevent a headache. It wasn't giving me any energy or anything at all. I was drinking the caffeine, the energy drink with all the weirdness in it to prevent a headache, but I wasn't getting any other benefits from it. And it's funny. I do talk to a lot of people throughout the day and it's like, oh, I have a headache. I have a headache. I'm like, it's probably the caffeine. You're probably burnt out on it. Your caffeine receptors are just like, I don't know what to do. Like, I need something more. Let's turn to fentanyl or something. Don't do that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think I had a little bit of a jump start. I think I got sick. And I don't know if I was bedridden or something, but I just remember going, oh yeah, I was sick yesterday. Oh, I didn't really drink caffeine. Huh. That kind of gives me a little bit of a jump start. Yeah, screw it. Let's just do it. Let's just... See how long I can go without having caffeine. And after like a couple days where I think I might have had a little bit of a headache here and there. And that's the thing. Since I've quit before, like before that, I think I did like a couple months, like a few years back. And then I did a few days here, a few days there. Like your brain goes, oh, yeah, I remember how to live without caffeine. I don't need to have a blistering headache and debilitate uh, Kevin here because he didn't have his monster. So, um, if you do quit for a few days here and a few days there and you come back, that's absolutely okay. That is, you're making progress. Even though you went back, you're making progress. You're training yourself, um, for, you know, a few months, a few years, even when you just finally give it up altogether, like I did. So one year, how has that been? So one of the first things I've noticed, well, when I noticed when I quit caffeine and it happened over the last year, well, narcolepsy, narcolepsy. I think I was looking for that word in the video recently. You become narcoleptic. What does that mean? When it's time to go to bed, you pass the fuck out. It's nine o'clock here around 11 o'clock is when I go, all right, time to get ready for bed. I put that in air quotes because I'm already in bed and be playing video games. But that's when I stop playing video games. And then I just put YouTube on in the background. And then by 1130, I am just knocked out. And I get the best sleep ever. That doesn't mean I have perfect sleep. 
but much better uh, sleep than when I was hopped up on caffeine. And the great thing about that is I do wake up and I'm up. This last year, when it's time to wake up, I'm good. I wake up, I'm like, all right, time to go to work. I get up, brush my teeth, put on my clothes, do whatever else I do, and that's it. (laughs) I have the energy to do it. I don't have the, uh. And I'd have turned to, like, um, seltzers, some Waterloo's, some um, LaCroix, Limoncello, Coconut. Coconut LaCroix have been... Like, if you're like me and, like, man, I miss that, like, morning monster, you you do need something. You do need whatever, you know? Like, people, you know, they put quit cigarettes. They'll still, like, I don't know, suck on a pen or a peepee or whatever. They just need that something phallic in their mouth. Um, for me, I needed something carbonated, you know, up to my lips and... LaCroix have been a godsend, even though they taste like absolute ass. And I would love to quit that, but it's right now it's that or go back to Monster Energy drinks. But I wake up, I feel fine. I would say one of the biggest benefits is um, my acid reflux has not gone away. It would go away if I didn't eat junk food every day. I eat like ass. I just ate two greasy tacos, some refried beans, and some really oily uh, rice. And a big thing of horchata. (laughs) So my acid reflux, yeah, it hasn't gone away. But when I was drinking caffeine, now for me personally, it might be different for you. I was taking like one of those Imperazoles, like Prilosec, just one of those every other day which I don't think you're supposed to take those every other day. I think you're supposed to do like a 14 day and quit. Um, But for me, I had to do it every other day. I just had to. That was the only thing that worked for me. Now, since I've quit caffeine, I take maybe like one a week, if even. And that's still eating like ass, like straight up butt. Like I have the worst diet ever. I have the worst diet ever. Um, but yeah, caffeine attributed to a lot of like, Hey bitch, you need to get a Prilosec. I think there's just something in maybe the monster specifically, or it's caffeine where it just, just aggravates something, just aggravates something. I don't know if it's like a food allergy thing or acid reflux or what, but it's something where a Prilosec makes me feel better. But since I don't have caffeine anymore, I don't take, I mean, I take them maybe like, yeah, once a week. I say about once a week, which saves me a lot of money. A lot of money. You save a lot of money when you don't have to take, what, 52 a year instead of whatever, every other day, like 100 and something. So that is probably the biggest thing. Once I realized that, like, I almost broke down and cried. I almost like, holy crap. Holy crap. I can get off that. And I think I can get off it. For good, because I've quit caf not caffeine, caffeine, gluten. I haven't eaten gluten for like three days now, and I feel even better. But holy shit, <laughs> gluten craving is a real thing. You can have bread without gluten, but even my mind is like, "Yo, bitch, get some gluten in this bread. This you need gluten." But um, that's kind of my next uh, hurdle to jump over. But I'll save that for a separate video. Let's keep it to caffeine. But yeah, I just feel good. Of course, my bank account is, I think, thanking me if prices didn't go through the roof. Um, <laughs> um, maybe I would notice, but since prices went through the roof, it's like maybe I had to quit caffeine or buying a 2 $3 energy drink every day to afford living. So I can't really say much about that there, but I understand if I were to get a monster every day, that would be like what nine hundred, like a thousand dollars a year I saved. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. Did I cover everything? I quit caffeine again. You can do it too. You can absolutely do it. Just, I think if you're you're just like, hey, Kevin, I really want to do it. 
Um, for me, like the first time I did it, it was just three, I wouldn't even say three miserable days. I remember the first day I was actually fine. And then the second and third day sucked. And then the fourth day I was, had a little bit of a headache and a little bit of withdrawals, but I was functional. So you may just want to set aside like just two or three days where like, Hey, like your wife or husband, like, I'm just going to be in my bed. I'm quitting caffeine. I'm just going to be in my bed trying to watch cartoons or whatever, but I'll be, you'll definitely just want to sleep it off and suck down some ibuprofen or whatever. For me, Skittles, Skittles was my, Skittles helped a lot. I think like the second time I quit, um, whenever I had that like craving, I think it was just giving my brain whatever, just the sugar. The sugar was like, all right, it's not caffeine, it's, but it's sugar. Okay. That, that'll do, but um, that helped a little bit. And then once the caffeine withdraws, then you just stop eating all the Skittles. So you can make it work. You can do it. I believe in you. Or maybe you don't want it. Maybe caffeine is your thing. Maybe you're, re- you're watching this and you're like, fuck you, Kevin. I, I want to keep drinking my caffeine. No, it's not going to kill you. In fact, I think, um, let's just say I've, I have had turned more towards sugar since I quit caffeine, but that's because I quit the fake sugar stuff. Like I don't have sugary drinks and I, get, I just drink a big thing of horchata. <laughs> I think I, I quit caffeine and I discovered horchata about the same time. Hmm. Like, is that a healthy trade-off? I don't know. Maybe that's not a healthy trade-off yet. I mean, cool. I don't need caffeine, but now I need a horchata. I don't drink it every day. Probably about one a week. Um, but okay. Now, I'm just all over the place rambling. But thank you guys so much for watching. I am. I don't want to say I'm quitting gluten, but I really wanted to give it a try. And it's really difficult. Um, gluten-free stuff is expensive, more expensive. And... Um, it's just, it does seem like there's a lot more options because I tried this a few years ago and I'm like, man, there's just not that many gluten-free options. And now there is. So now I'm trying to sift through all like what's good, what isn't, and not try to break my, break my bank account because holy crap. But that kind of factors into my new series on my channel, Burgers Without Buns. And I should have a new episode up of that here in a few days, but Okay, now I'm really all over the place. I did it one year without caffeine. Now, I got to actually put an asterisk on that. I do eat chocolate. Not every day, or I don't crave chocolate. I'm not a chocolateaholic. So, I don't want to be lying, because I know there's caffeine in that, and probably a little other things, but you understand. I'm not going out and getting a monster, or even like a Hershey's Kiss every day. But, all right, I got to go. I think Persona 3 is about to go live, and I got to play that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Later.